The wreath that star-crowned Shelley gave is lying on thy Roman grave. Yet on its turf young April sets her store of slender violets. Though all the gods their garlands shower, I too may bring one purple flower. Alas, what blossom shall I bring that opens in my northern spring? The garden beds have all run wild, so trim when I was yet a child. Flat platons and unseemly stalks have crept across the gravel walks. The vines are dead, long, long ago. The almond buds no longer blow. No more upon its mound I see the azure plume-bound fleur de lis where once the tulips used to show in straggling tufts the pansies grow. The grass has quenched my white-rayed gem, the flowering star of Bethlehem. Though its long blade of glossy green and pallid stripe may still be seen, nature, who treads her nobles down and gave their birthright to the clown, has sown her base-born weedy things about the gardens, queens, and kings. Yet one sweet flower of ancient race springs in the old familiar place when snows were melting down the vale and earth unlaced her icy mail and March his stormy trumpet blew and tender green came peeping through. I loved the earliest one to seek that broke the soil with emerald beak and watched the trembling bells so blue spread on the column as it grew. Meek child of earth, thou wilt not shame the sweet dead poet's holy name. The god of music gave thee birth, called from the crimson spotted earth, when sobbing his young life away, his own fair hyacinth lay. The hyacinth my garden gave, shall lie upon the Roman grave.